What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How's it going today, guys? Well, this video is sponsored by CellCashier.com. If you guys want to check them out, link is in the description. So today I have another product from PhotoFast that was sent to me free for review, and this is the Memories Cable. So this is a brand new product. There's actually a Indiegogo campaign currently going on right now uh, for this product. So if you want to purchase it, you do have to go to the Indiegogo, Indiegogo campaign. I'll put a link in the description to that. And so we're going to talk about this product, and I'm also going to get, give you guys a demonstration of how it works in conjunction with the free application for the iPhone. So as you guys can see here, I have two versions here, one that I've been testing, another one that's still inside the box. So if you guys want to get in on the giveaway to win a free one of these, make sure you stay to the end of the video. So guys, this is a really interesting product. So as you can tell, this is actually, it looks just like a regular normal kind of cable. But the thing about this one is it actually has storage space inside the USB part of it right here. So this one I have here is a 32 gigabyte so it's basically a lightning connector to USB 3.0. There's also a 2.0 available. And it basically allows you to store information on this cable. And you can go between Mac and PC. And then you can also go to your iOS device. So this one currently works with the iPod Touch, uh, the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, I iPhone 5C, 6 and 6 Plus, and probably the 6S and 6 Plus, whenever that comes out. And uh, also for iPads, it works with the iPad Air, Air 2, and the uh, iPad Minis. And so, uh, like I said, it does come with a, there's a free application you can get for this. So you're able to store videos, pictures, photos, you're able to back up information on your, uh, on your iOS device. And so obviously it has a lightning connector on one end and a USB, this one is a 3.0, but it also is available in 2.0. So these retail between $50 and $150, okay? So, and it varies depending on uh, what, whether the, what the capacity is and whether it's USB 3.0 or 2.0. So it goes from 16 gigs, 32 gigs, 64, and 128 and uh, USB 2.0 or 3.0. Pretty interesting stuff. I'll put a link in the description for the Indiegogo campaign. If you guys are watching this way after the Indiegogo campaign is over with, I'm sure I'll update that link with a, a link to Amazon or another site where you can purchase this product if you are interested in it. So I already have one right here that I've been testing out. So let's pop it into the uh, my iPhone and then go ahead and show you guys what the app is all about. Okay, so here we have my iPhone. Here we have the application from PhotoFast. One special thing I do want to mention about this cable, um, and I just recently, for those of you that watched my PhotoFast Max review, which is a very similar product to this, but the one issue I had with that product is that it was actually just the bottom section. It wasn't like a cable like this, and you actually had to plug it into the bottom of your device, but it was flush, so you, if you had a, a case on your phone, you wouldn't be able to stick it into that into that opening because it was it basically has to be flush. It's a bottom piece right there. But the good thing about this is because it has a small lightning connector, this will fit in most cases. Okay, I don't have a, a an OtterBox Defender big huge case to test it out with, but for all my other cases that I have, including this one right here, it very easily fits into there, which is very nice. So you don't have to take your phone out of the case in order to use the cable. So when you plug it into there, as you can see, it updated itself. It refreshed, so it shows you in-app storage and then it shows you external storage, okay? External storage is what's actually on the, on the cable itself. In-app storage is in, uh, stuff that you save from the cable to your device. So you're actually able to save videos, pictures, files, things from the cable onto your actual phone. You can only access them through the app, but still, that's pretty cool. So the one thing I really use this, or I use the other one for a lot was like for taking road trips and things like that. If you wanna store a bunch of videos on here, but you don't want to have them taking up space on your phone, you can easily plug them into your iPad or your iPhone or whatever it is, give it to the kids, let them watch it in the back of the car, and it keeps the space off the phone free so you don't have to have a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, also, another thing too is you can put music on here and you can actually play music through here as well. I don't personally store music on my phone because it takes up too much space, I just use Pandora, but this gives me the ability to have a bunch of music stored on here so if I'm in my vehicle, I can pop it in and play music right off the flash drive. So let me go ahead and show you some of the areas of this app. So when you go to the app right here, here's a, a description of all the different things that I've placed on the flash drive okay and this flash drive does work the USB does work with Mac and PC it works with Mac OS 10 and uh, for PC it'll work with Windows 7 8 and 10 okay so here's some things I put on here we have a video a dot MOV video so there's a little commercial from cell cashier the cool thing about this is you can also stream these movies onto your a Apple TV so if you have an Apple TV you're at a friend's house you have a bunch of movies on here you don't need a VCR you don't need a DVR you don't need a DVD player all you need is the flash drive with all your movies uh, saved onto it pop it onto here and send it to the, to the Apple TV and then you can watch movies with it so that's pretty cool okay here's another file I have a PDF right here so this is just a, a manual for the FZ 1000 uh, so you can you can check out PDFs you can view those things popped off there. I can actually select those things and save it to the actual device. So if I click on select and, and uh, check off like that PDF, 
right there on the very bottom it has a share option a copy a move and there's a more section where you can actually go back you can delete and you can lock it so you can make these items secure through uh, through the, the cable too so you can save uh, secure files in here if you don't want people to have access to them only you would have access to them you can actually uh, select that option make it secure so no one else can get to that I'll cancel that one here's another thing too here's a picture of one of my daughters Eden so I can take that picture swap it over here I can actually copy it or move it to the device so I can move it to the in-app storage which is within this application I can move it over to external storage it's already on the external storage so that wouldn't be the case and I can move it to my Dropbox or my Google Drive sections as well so those are some different things as well here's some other cool things music so so you can play music over here the cool thing is if I turn it off it's still playing the music in the background I don't have to have the application open in order to access the music on there which is pretty cool so you can just let, let it play a bunch of music in the background and you're good to go. And so I have an MP3, it also will play a, a WAV files as well. So you can play waves, you can play MP3s, I showed you that a dot .mov, even PowerPoint presentations. So let's go back to the homepage, I'm going to show you. So these are the different things you have access to. music. Photos, video, in-app storage, which is basically the same thing as pushing that button up there. External storage. I'm sorry, pushing this button here. This is the external storage on that side. Here's another cool a feature that's already built into the app, YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and if you happen to want to, you know, download a music video, you go straight into the YouTube app, click on, a, on the, one of the, the videos here. It'll actually let you download the video to either the phone in the app storage or the flash drive itself which is kind of a cool little thing they threw in there. Dropbox, Google Drive, you can actually use the, the built-in recorder here and it'll, it'll save your recordings on in the in-app or on the flash drive. Swipe it to the side, here's where it gets interesting. So we have backup options. So if here in the backup options, you can have photo backup, contact backup, calendar backup, and it's also back up the other albums in your photo album. So whether it's the Facebook album, the Instagram album, you can back up all of them. You can back up the Dropbox uh, area, the Google Drive. So the cool thing is you can save all of these things, you can back up everything to this flash drive. So if something happens to your phone and you need to purchase a different phone, and I know you do have iCloud to back up or to put a lot of information on there, but this will keep track of everything so you can pop this into a new device and drop all that stuff back in, back through the app onto the phone. So just a really cool, versatile product. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. This will allow you to charge also. So if you have your phone and you have your laptop there, you can plug this into a laptop. It will allow you to charge it. It will not allow you to use this cable to sync. Okay, this cable only works for charging. So that's it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below. I read each and every comment on all of my videos, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. If you guys want to get in on the giveaway for this free 32 gigabyte memory cable, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and just post in the comments section what your Twitter handle is. That's all you got to do. I'll be announcing a winner on Twitter in about a week from now. I just want to give another quick shout out to our sponsor of this video, sellcashier.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, it's really easy, fast, and secure. You just go to the site. You get a quote, you ship your phone to them, and then you get paid. And that's pretty much it. So sellcashier.com. If you guys uh, want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.